Well, it's believed that breastfeeding gives your baby the best start in life, but at what age should your child be when you stop? Mum of two, Denise Sumter, still breastfeeds her six-year-old daughter and says she won't stop until her daughter's ready. But is she right? We're also joined by breastfeeding counsellor Claire Byam-Cook and welcome to you both. Thank you very much indeed for coming in. So the NHS say breastfeeding is the healthiest way to feed your baby. Exclusive breastfeeding is recommended for around the first six months, 26 weeks of your baby's life. After that, uh, giving your baby breast milk alongside other food will help them to continue to grow and develop healthily. Um, now, six months was the plan originally for you, wasn't it? It was, yes. Um, nobody sets out to breastfeed their child for four years or six years or however many, however many years. Um, but, th you know, that's because we don't generally, before we have children, know very much about breastfeeding. It's not very visible. I think that's one of the problems in our society. You know, people aren't sitting around, you know, everywhere you see breastfeeding their children as it probably would be if people went about their business and breastfed their children as they went around. I think our culture makes uh, mothers feel that that sometimes might be difficult or people might object. Um, the crucial thing is that you get the right support, support from your family, from your, um, from your partner, from the community and from professional experts. Uh, if you run into problems, it's really important that you go and find an IBCLC. Mm. That's an in internationally, um, international board of certified lactation consultants. They will help you, for instance, if you have tongue tie or issues like that and they're qualified to help you and make sure that you don't fall into problems, fall by the wayside and, and they'll, they'll support you in your decisions. All very sound, of course, and very important, but, but back to you sort of personally here. Uh -huh. um, uh, at what point did you think, OK, uh, this is going on longer than I thought and I am happy with the way this is going? Mm -hmm. Um, well, I think uh, you go to the, the usual NH NHS drop-ins, you um, meet the breastfeeding support professionals there and, um, you, you know, usually people are breastfeed for six months and then, and then they move on and, and, you know, sometimes they find that they want to go on a bit longer. When that happens, you can move on to different or, and additional sorts of support. You can find La Leche League, you can find support online and, you know, and, and I find that I, I found as I went along the right kind of support. I was lucky. I met lots of other people who breastfed their children for longer. What do other people think? Um, other people think it's great. I've had so much support and so many mothers who've come to me, either online or personally, friend, personal friends, and said, thank you so much. Please tell, you know, please go on TV and tell people that I'm, I have a child of four who I breastfeed. I'm breastfeeding three or I'm breast... I've had a couple of people who say, I actually I'm breastfeeding my eight-year-old. Please let people know that this is normal. It's happening in the UK, and it, I, I'm fine with it. I said <laughs> that uh, we'd had sort of three thousand comments on this. Uh, Lisa Lister says, if uh, if you're concerned about giving your child the nutrients and goodness from a breast milk, why don't you express it and give it in a glass? Uh, Nicola says, I'm all for breast is best, but feeding a child of six is wrong, and clearly the, uh, for the mother's needs only. Andrea says, would you still have a child who is six years old in a pram in a nappy with a dummy? No. Well. First, I, it's really important, actually, can I address the put it in a cup? That is... Of course. Right. Because, um, first of all, expressing isn't an easy thing. You, if you've breastfed for a year or two years, not everyone can express. And if you haven't expressed over time, and especially near the beginning, some people can't. I can't express, yet I feed my children whenever they want. I've got plenty of milk, yet, you know, you try and express and you get a little tiny bit. It doesn't happen for everyone. So I think people aren't very knowledgeable about you know, the practical issues about expressing, you know, it's not like pouring, pouring something into a glass. Um, and the other thing is, it's not just a drink. <laughs> Breast milk isn't like cola, you know, it's more, it's nutrition, but it's also dynamic. It's a live, live it's a living food. Mm. It changes hour by hour. And by, when you feed your child directly the breast, saliva from the child uh, sends chemical messengers to the mother's body that changes the component of the milk, hour by hour. So that child gets a perfect nutritional, immunological fix. It all sounds very reasonable. I mean, she's got her notes written down yes. here to, uh, to, to, to explain it all to us. Is it necessary? Well, uh, no, not for a six-year-old. And it seems to me this is a campaign to promote breastfeeding. And saying you're breastfeeding a six-year-old is not going to help the 50% of mothers who find it too painful or difficult even to do it for six weeks. So we all want mothers to breastfeed and definitely if you can breastfeed in the early months it gives your baby a really good start in life. 
But the reality is, as I said, 50% of mothers find it too difficult. So having Denise sitting here saying, we need to have everyone knowing you can breastfeed four-year-olds and six-year-olds mm -hmm. is not going to help those mothers. No. And the nutritional benefits at six are virtually negligible. And also, this is the thing I really pick you up on, is you say that... Um, you're quoted as saying that you breastfeed your six-year-old mm -hmm. when she's tired or needs comforting or whatever. Mm -hmm. So you're teaching your child mm -hmm. to use food as a source of comfort. No. Why can't you just cuddle her? I the do. father doesn't have to breastfeed no. to comfort. So no, no, it just no. seems to me it's the wrong association to mm -hmm. say, Give, let your mm. baby suck, sorry, mm. your child suck mm -hmm. on a bit of your body for yes, comfort yes. rather than just having a hug. Mm. I don't think it's natural in oh. this country. It might be in other countries, yes. but not in Britain where we go around fully clothed. OK, if I could just answer that. Well, first of all, the World Health Organisation do say breastfeeding is, uh, the main, is um, suggested as the best thing for two years and beyond. Um, and this, they say, is a global guideline. Uh, not just in developed countries, because let's face it, we're the same species no matter what country we're living. We're all humans, but we're, we're not mammals. exposed to the same germs and everything. No, you know, here in quite. England, we've got a clean society, we've mm. got milk in the fridge. In Africa, they don't have fridges or sterile yes, water and so on. Right. So yes. it is totally yes. different to say what's yes. natural in an yes. undeveloped country mm. is natural mm. in a developed country. Well, I, 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 th I think. We ought to then think what's natural, for, again, for us as mammals, because I don't think there are any other mammals on the planet that, think, that would take it as natural to drink milk from another animal, mm -hmm. rather and say that's better than, than milk we from give, your... We <laughs> give our children cow's mm -hmm. milk. I don't. Well, are you saying your children never have a bowl of cereal? They do. You, they yes. have all sorts of milk. They and have you don't put your breast milk on it. But I could do if I but wanted to, but I don't bother expressing it. To, I, I can't be bothered. But um, I give them oat milk, I give them almond milk, they have coconut milk. They have whatever milk we happen to have. But milk as a, as a drink, like, you know, unless it's your own milk, it's not necessary, actually. You can get calcium and all the nutrients, all the things from breast milk mm. until the, the child feels they no longer wish to have it. And from all the other... Um, but it's not bad around. for you. Are you saying no, that no. all the parents in the country mm. who give their children yeah. Yeah. ordinary milk on yeah. the cereal ordinary is milk. bad? Yes. No. Are you saying no, it's bad to give no. cow's milk to Absolutely children not. and cow's adults? Cow's milk's a really easy, quick fix to get various nutrients. I don't think it's uh, quite as efficient and, and optimal as breast milk. Well, when will you choose that it's going to be acceptable then in that case? Will you, because you have a, a young son as well mm. and you breastfeed, I think, yeah. both of them. Sorry, what do you mean so when do I think? When will you stop? When you will you say, oh, OK, right, I think that's probably time now. You're 23. I think we should probably stop this. <laughs> yes. I don't think I know any other child or, uh, shall I say, juvenile uh, teenager who breastfeeds. Um, I've never actually, I'm a member of lots of breastfeeding groups online worldwide. I don't think I know of any teenager actually that breastfeeds. How will you feel when yeah. your children decide that they don't want to do this anymore? Um, I'm going to be happy, I'll say, and I'll feel really fulfilled. I'll say, I've done the best for my children. There you go. You know, it will probably be a slow transition because that's how child-led weaning goes. They don't, you don't suddenly cut off and go, that's your lot. <laughs> um, and I'll say, great, you're growing up, you know, you're developing, we'll probably talk about it. We have books about breastfeeding, I have children's books that are written about breastfeeding, and lovely pictures that actually explain uh, the, the weaning process. But, you know, not, not that it's an issue, but, um, yeah, I, I, I'll feel happy, we'll move on, it will be another thing. But I, basically, I support my children in their move towards um, becoming more um, independent and capable. Not that my children are in incredibly independent, mm. as it is, but when they feel they don't need... Well, it's interesting you say that about the independence, because um, uh, Marissa says you're taking away your daughter's independence. Right. <laughs> She hasn't met my daughter or many other breastfed children. But you my just daughter... said she wasn't that independent. Well, no, it's, it's, she's not an, an entirely, you know, we're all independent. She's not an adult. She needs her mother for whatever I give her. At the moment, she needs, she needs uh, comfort, she needs breastfeeding, because she feels that she does. This is a, it's a good idea, surely. We have to destigmatize this, because yes. there have been a, a couple of stories in the newspapers recently. Her mum was asked to cover up in Claridge's, mm, yes. um, and, uh, and they were quite unrepentant of, uh, uh, as they far were. as that was concerned. Nigel Farage <laughs> was told nursing mums to sit in a corner. No, no, he didn't say they should. He said perhaps 
that she might have chosen to sit at the side of the room rather than in the centre. So, isn't so it, she it's can quite, have it's a more discreet breastfeeding quite appearance. Quite important. It's totally different. To, to, to discuss this and not, mm. not to, to give a mother a hard time mm. who is breastfeeding her child and, and, and saying, you know, this is, a, this is a, the well, important and nutritious way forward. I compliment Denise for doing it. Brilliant. She's breastfed two babies. Absolutely great. But I just feel in this day of the internet and everything, how is Belle going to feel yes. as a teenager yes. when people at school start yes. producing these pictures of her sucking on your breast age six and a half? Do I mean, know. you know, to do it in your own home yes. privately and to right. do it with your friends privately, mm. but to have it in all the national newspapers, mm. Mm -hmm. I think that's a potential embarrassment right. for her when she's older. Okay, can I, can I, that, that's a really important part, and all, you've touched on lots of different issues there. First and foremost, my daughter is confident. She knows all about what her body can do and she knows that breastfeeding is natural and she's happy if her friends bring it up to talk about it. The school have sent me uh, e an email and they're in full support and they say any bullying takes place about what, what colour, you know, what colour or creed your child is, what colour hair they have, where, if there's a problem with their speech, anything, any bullying about any issue is something that needs to be taken up. I mean, you're breastfeeding, I fully support you, which is great. Also, um, if my child's going to be embarrassed about breastfeeding, firstly, I think that's, that's the problem with, cu with culture. Breasts are so over-sexualised in our society, the fact that, you know, someone may suggest that we go and sit in a corner, that's dreadful, you know? That's telling someone straight away that there's something wrong about what you're doing. And right. actually, it's unlawful. It's discrimination, it's against the law. If someone asks you to stop breastfeeding or cover up or attempts to put something over you, it's assaulting you, you and your child, and you can sit there quite happily and say, bring me that in writing, and please, let's take it up. Final, final comment. Well, I think we want to support breastfeeding. We want to encourage mothers to do it, but we should be focusing on helping mothers get the breastfeeding going in the first few Absolutely. weeks, not making mm. them feel guilty and saying that the only way you can have calm, happy, confident, mm. healthy mm. children is to breastfeed them till the age of six. No. I think it's the early mm. months that are important. We they are to, incredibly we important. We have to stop there, unfortunately. Uh, Amanda says, just because our society tells us it's wrong doesn't mean it is. It's just that they're here in the UK. We are not used to it. Thank you both very much indeed. Thank you. Hi.